Hi, good morning my dear students. Welcome to your English grammar class. I am Shushma, your English grammar teacher. Students, in your previous class, you studied about different kinds of sentences. So, let's revise once again about these kinds of sentences. Okay? So, first one is assertive sentence. Okay? Now, what is an assertive sentence? An assertive sentence expresses a statement to tell a fact. And it always ends with a full stop. Yes? It always ends with a full stop. For example, my father is a doctor. Full stop. Rose is a beautiful flower. Full stop. Okay, children? So, always write full stop at the end of the assertive sentence. Now, let's see what is an interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence asks a question about something or someone. It always ends with a question mark. For example, what is your name? Question mark. Where do you live? Question mark. Etc. Okay? So, always write the question mark at the end of the question. Okay? Now, let's see what is an imperative sentence. An imperative sentence expresses an order or a request. It also ends with a full stop. For example, open the door. Please sit down. In these sentences also you have to write the full stop at the end. Okay children? Now let's see the last one. That is exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence expresses strong feeling. Such as joy, sorrow, wonder, etc. It always ends with an exclamation mark. Okay? For example, how beautiful the rose is. Exclamation mark. What a tall man. Exclamation mark. Okay? So, in exclamatory sentence, always put the exclamation mark at the end of the exclamatory sentence. Now, I hope chapter 3 is clear to you now. Okay, children? Now, let's begin chapter 4. Subject and predicate. So, children, we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 4. Subject and predicate. Now, in previous classes, you studied about the sentences. Okay? Now let's know more about sentences. All sentences can be divided into two parts. Okay, students? So sentence is divided into two parts. Number one, subject. And number two, predicate. Can you see the subject here? Hmm? And predicate here. So sentence can be divided into two parts. Subject and predicate. Now let's see what is the subject of naming part. The part of sentence about which something is said is known as the subject or naming part. Okay? The part of sentence about which something is said is known as the subject or naming part. Okay, children? Now, let's see the examples of subject. Can you see here, children? Examples? Yes? Can you see the examples here? Yes. India is my country. Can you see the picture of India here? Yes? So, can you see the arrow? So, India is a naming part. 
Okay, in this sentence, India is a is my country. In this sentence, India is a naming part. Okay, children. Now let's see the second one example. My mother is a teacher. Now see in this sentence, my mother is a naming part. Can you see the picture of mother? Yes. So here, my mother is a naming part subject. Now see the third example. Tavita is my elder sister. Okay. So in this sentence, Tavita is a naming part. Okay. In bracket, subject is given. Can you see? Kavita is a naming part in this sentence. So this is girl. This girl is Kavita. Now let's see the last example. The sun shines brightly. Okay. Sun shines brightly. So in this sentence, the sun is the naming part. In bracket, subject is given. Okay. Can you see the sun here in the picture? Okay. Now. See the last one, last example. The boys played very well. The boys is a naming part. In bracket, subject is green. Can you see? The boys is a naming part. In this sentence, boys is a naming part. Can you see the picture of the boys? Yes. So, these all are examples of subject. These all are examples of subject. Okay, children? So, subject, what is the subject? The part of a sentence about which something is said is known as the subject. Okay, it's clear now, subject is clear to you now. The part of a sentence about which something is said is known as the subject. Now, now let's see what is a predicate. Predicate or doing part. The part of a sentence which says something about the subject is known as the predicate or doing part. Okay. Once again, let me repeat. The part of a sentence which says something about the subject is known as the predicate or doing part. Now, let's see the examples of predicate. First one, stars twinkle in the sky. Yes, can you see the stars here? Yes, can you see the picture Picture of a stars? Hmm? So, stars twinkle in the sky. Now, in this sentence, twinkle in the sky is the predicate, doing part. Hmm? In brackets, see predicate is given. So, twinkle in the sky is the doing part. In bracket, predicate is given. Can you see Okay, good. Now let's see the second example. Birds fly in the sky. Can you see the birds flying in the sky? Yes, can you see the picture? So children, in this sentence, fly in the sky is the doing part. In the bracket, predicate is green. Can you see? Fly in the sky is the doing part. Predicate. Now see the third example. The monkey sat upon a tree. Can you see the monkey here? Can you see monkey sitting on a tree? So, in this sentence, sat upon a tree is a predicate. Doing part. Doing part. Predicate. Okay. Now, let's see the fourth example. Our class went for a picnic. Yes. Our class went for a picnic. This is in this sentence, went for a picnic is a doing part, predicate. Okay, went for a picnic is a doing part, predicate. Yes? Okay, now see the last one. The bar barber cut my hair. Okay, cut my hair is a doing part. Okay, can you see the barber cutting the hair? Yes, so barber cut my hair. In this, cut my hair is a doing part. Predicate. It's clear? So, predicate or doing part. The part of a sentence which says something about the subject 
is known as the predicate or doing part. So it says something about the subject. Okay. I hope subject and predicate is clear to you all now. Okay. Now let's see the. Now students. When you, when you are doing subject and predicate. Always remember few points. Number one. Every sentence contains a subject and a verb means predicate. Okay. So every sentence contains a subject and a verb predicate. Clear? Number two. A short sentence may consist of only two words. For example, he sleeps. So even a short this, he sleeps is also a sentence. Because he is a subject here and sleeps is a predicate here. Means verb. Okay, so it, it is it is a sentence, complete sentence. Now the third one, an imperative sentence does not have subjects such as thank you means I thank you. Okay, so in an imperative sentence, subject is not there. It's it is understood. Okay, it is understood like I I is understood here. Okay, go away means you go away. In these sentences, I and you are understood. So in imperative sentence, remember children, subject is understood. You know, you don't have to write. Okay. It is understood. So always remember, every sentence contains a subject and a verb. That is predicate. A short sentence may consist of only two words. For example, he sleeps means this is a complete sentence. Hmm. An imperative sentence does not have a subject such as thank you means I thank you. I is understood here. Go away means you go away. Here you is understood. I hope this lesson is clear to you now. Now children, let's write the exercises. So please open page number 17 and 18. Now let's write. Exercise A. Divide the following sentences into subject and predicate. Okay children. Now see here page number 18. Can you see page number 18? Two columns are given there. Subject and predicate. You have to read the question and then you have to write the subject in subject column and predicate in predicates, predicate column. Okay. So let's begin. Number one. I shall not be at home tomorrow. Now tell me student which is the subject and which is the predicate. I is a subject. Okay, students. I is the subject. And the predicate is shall not be at home tomorrow. Can you see children? I is the subject. Okay. And shall not be at home. Tomorrow is the predicate. Okay. This is the naming part. Subject. And it is the doing part. Predicate. It's clear children? Okay. Now let's see the second one. Second one is Kavita is my elder sister. Okay. So, now tell me, which one is the subject? Kavita is a subject. Kavita is a subject. Okay. Now, is my elder sister is my elder sister is a predicate. Is my elder sister is a 
predicate. Okay, children. So here, Kavita is a naming part, means subject, and is my elder sister is a predicate. Okay, doing part. Okay. Now let's see the third one. Third one is birds fly high in the sky. Birds fly high in the sky. Now tell me which one is the subject here? Birds. Birds. Okay. Birds is the subject. And fly high in the Sky is the predicate. Okay. Fly high in the sky is the predicate. Okay. Fly high in the sky is the predicate. Okay. You know the subject is also called naming part and predicate is also called doing part. Okay. So birds is the subject and fly high in the sky is the predicate. Okay. Now let's see the fourth one. Fourth one is my parents have gone to Shibla. Okay. Now which one is the subject here? My parents. My parents. My parents. Okay. My parents is a subject here and have gone to Shibla. Okay. okay, my parents is a subject and have gone to Shimla is a predicate. Okay, my parents is a naming part and have gone to Shimla is a doing part. Okay, children. Now let's see the fifth one. The girls are singing and dancing. Now, which one is the subject here? The girls. The girls. Okay. The girls is a subject and are singing and dancing. Are singing. And dancing, and dancing in the predicate. Okay, children. So the girls is a subject. Are singing and dancing is a predicate. The girls is a naming part. Are singing and dancing is a doing part. Is clear to you? Now let's see the. Sixth one. Most boys like cricket. Now, which one is the subject here? Can you tell, so students? Can you tell? Which one is the subject here? Yes. Most boys. Okay. Most boys is the subject. Most boys is a subject. Okay, children. Okay, children. Most boys is a subject. And which one is the predicate? Live cricket. Live cricket is a predicate. Live cricket is a predicate. Live cricket is a predicate. Okay. So, which one is the subject? Most boys. Most boys is a subject. And like cricket is a predicate. Okay. Most boys is a naming part. And like cricket, cricket is a doing part. Okay children. Let's see the seventh one. Now. Seventh one. 
Archana is an intelligent student. Archana is an intelligent student. Now, which one is the subject here? Archana. Archana. Archana is a subject and is an intelligent student. Arjuna is a subject and is an intelligent student is a predicate. Okay. So, Arjuna is a naming part and is an intelligent student is a doing part. Okay. Now, let's see the eighth one. Eighth one is Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Now, Tell me student, which is the subject here? Which one is the subject? Yes, Humpty Dumpty. Okay, this one is a subject. Humpty Humpty Dumpty is a subject here. Okay. Now, which one is the predicate? Yes, sat on a wall. Sat on a wall. This is the predicate, children. Okay. So, Humpty Dumpty is a subject and sat on a wall is a predicate. Means, Humpty Dumpty is a naming part and sat on a wall is a doing part. Okay, children. Now, let's see the ninth one. Now, ninth one is bread and butter is my favorite breakfast. Okay, do you like bread and butter? Huh? Yes? Okay, good. Bread and butter is my favorite breakfast. So, now tell me which one is the subject here? Yes, bread and butter. Bread and butter. Okay. Bread and butter. This is the subject. Okay. And which one is the predicate? Is my favorite breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, children. So, Bread and butter is a subject. Is my favorite breakfast is a predicate. Okay. Means bread and butter is a naming part. Is my favorite breakfast is a doing part. Okay children. It's clear. Now the tenth one. Tenth one. The sun shines brightly. The sun Shines brightly. Now, which one is the subject here? The sun. The sun. The sun is the subject. And shines brightly is a predicate. Shine brightly is a subject. So, just see once again. The sun is the subject and shines brightly is a predicate. Okay. Means the sun is a naming part. Shines brightly is a doing part. Okay. Now, let me revise one more time. Number one, I is the subject. Shall not be at home tomorrow. Predicate. Okay. Number two, Kavita is a subject. Is my elder sister predicate? Okay, children. Number three, birds subject. 
fly high in the sky predicate. Number four, my parents subject have gone to Shimla predicate. The girls, fifth one, the girls subject are singing and dancing predicate. Sixth one, most boys subject like cricket predicate. Seventh one, Arjuna subject is an intelligent student predicate. Eighth one, Humpty Dumpty subject sat on a wall predicate. Bread and butter subject is my favorite breakfast predicate. The sun subject shines brightly predicate. Okay, children. So, uh, exercise A is over. Now, exercise B will do later on. Okay. Let, in next class, we we'll finish this uh, exercise. So, thank you and have a nice day.